Hey everyone, it's Deb from the Tiverton Public Library. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make candles in your crock pot. Yes, you heard me right. You can make candles in the crock pot. I've made candles lots of different ways, but this is the easiest way that i found. Now, if this looks familiar to you, we did this in our one of our creative craft classes last fall. So if you were in that class and um, you have any tips or experiences you want to share, I encourage that you share them with viewers in the comments below. There's still time to earn a few more badges in our Fall Fun Challenge. You could use this project to earn credit for two activities. Since we're making these candles in the crock pot, you can claim that badge. And once you've made your candles, you can light one and then go ahead and claim that badge. Just visit tiverdenlibrary.beanstack.org and claim your badges. The prize winner will be announced soon. For this project, you'll need a crock pot, some boiling water, some four ounce mason jars, and some candle making wax. You can find this at any craft store or online. I'm gonna use some soy wax flakes for this project. You'll also need candle wicks, which you can get at any craft store. And if you'd like your candles to be scented, you can pick up some essential oils or candle fragrance. To start, we're gonna fill the jars with wax all the way to the top. Really pack the wax in there. Then we'll place the jars in the crock pot and set it to high. Add boiling water to the slow cooker until it comes halfway up the jars. We're essentially creating a double boiler. We'll cover the pot and let our candles cook for about half an hour or until the wax is completely melted down. The melting time will vary depending on the type of the wax you use, so just check on it and move on to the next step once the wax is completely melted. Once the first round of wax is melted, you'll notice that the wax now takes up less space in the jars. Now we have to carefully top up the glass jars with more wax, filling it all the way to the top, being sure to press it all down with our spoon as we go. Now, this is the point in the project where I typically start to accidentally get wax in the crock pot itself. Whoops, just like that. Uh, but don't worry about it. Once the project is complete, it is fairly easy to clean the wax out of the crock pot. Let me place the lid back on the crock pot and let the candles cook for another hour or so. Now that your jars are full of melted wax, very, very carefully remove the jars from the crock pot. If you want to add fragrance, you can stir that in now. Some instructions say to add wicks at this point, propping them up with a spoon or a skewer or a pencil or a popsicle stick. Some candle kits come with these fancy metal wick holders, but I have a problem with this. Watch what happens. Even with their fancy wick holders, you put it in there and the hot melted wax in the candle melts the wax on the wick and then it starts to travel and bend and good luck trying to get it into the middle of the candle. It's just a frustrating mess. I prefer to wait a little longer until the surface of the candle starts to cool and harden and add my wicks in that way. I'll show you what I mean. So I've trimmed my wicks to a little bit longer than the jar. Do you see how the surface has cooled and beginning to solidify? Now all I have to do is break the surface and push the wick to the bottom. And the wax is cool enough to not let the wick bend too much. And the surface of the wax will keep it upright.
Now, if I'm still worried that the wicks are gonna tip over, then I can use my fancy wick holder or a spoon or a skewer to hold the wicks up while the candles finish cooling. Let the candles rest and cool completely. It will take about 30 minutes until they're completely solid. Once cool and solid, you can cut the top of the wicks to a quarter of an inch and they're ready to use. Use these candles to light the darkness this coming season. They also make sweet gifts. If you make these candles as part of our fall fun challenge, be sure to check off your items in Beanstack and claim your badges. And show us how they came out. Share a picture on social media using the hashtag TPL Fall Fun Challenge. Thanks for watching.